my humble greetings to all the viewers in this youtube channel today's topic is going to be compton effect so as i described in the last video itself about the wave nature and particle nature of light i am going to explain and elaborate on the compton effect so many of the physicists are aware of this compton effect there are some unknown details which i want to explain in detail here so arthur h compton was the physicist who was working in washington he first discovered this compton effect which is named after him in the year 1923 and we must be feeling very proud that this topic is also a nobel prize topic it was awarded nobel prize for the say for this compton effect in the year 1927 which was shared by arthur h compton and one of his associate c t r wilson so this nobel prize topic we should uh, understand in detail when a x ray photon strikes an electron at rest the photon gets scattered in one direction and the electron recoils in the opposite direction what happens is the scattered photon will have a slightly modified wavelength a slightly longer wavelength than that of the instant photon this shift in wavelength is called compton shift and this effect is called compton effect we may wonder what is this x ray photon striking an electron at rest we must understand electron at rest doesn't mean the electron is completely at rest then atom cannot exist in nature so we know as per the atomic structure the nucleus inside the nucleus we have protons and neutrons and electrons are revolving around in orbits so even if i say electrons are at rest still the electron is just spinning in its own direction only thing is it is not moving around the nucleus but it will be having its spin motion so we can compare this effect with respect to the uh, diwali ground chakkar so when there is a ground chakkar diwali during diwali festival we all burst a cracker called ground chakkar so there it will be like spinning and when you imagine you throw a stone on that so what happens is the spinning ground chakkar will recoil in one direction and the stone what you threw on that will get thrown on the other side you can also imagine a spinning top so if we are not understanding the ground chakkar we can think of a spinning top so when there is a spinning top that is spinning in its own axis we take a stone and throw on it the stone gets thrown on one direction in the opposite direction and the spinning top will recoil in the other direction this is the effect which you can visualize with this example the compton effect so this is the compton effect that is prepared by me Uh, the compton effect as i told you in 1923 arthur h compton discovered this effect when a instant x ray photon hits an electron at rest mainly the electron is spinning without revolving the photon gets scattered in one direction as shown here and the electron gets recoiled in the opposite direction the scattered photon is observed to have slightly a longer wavelength which is going to be lambda f than that of the instant photon wavelength which is designated as in lambda i So the shift in wavelength is called the Compton shift in wavelength and the effect is called Compton's effect. So here in this equation in the yellow box we can see that lambda f minus lambda i is equal to h by m0 c into 1 minus cos theta. h is the Planck's constant, m0 is the rest mass of the electron, c is the velocity of light and theta is the angle of scattering that is shown in the diagram. So we can see the scattered photon in that side we can we can see a theta which is the angle of scattering with respect to the the axis and here this is the famous compton's equation which is derived mathematically the final equation itself says that lambda f minus lambda i which means obviously lambda f is greater than lambda i so we know the statement also the scattered photon will have a slightly longer wavelength so lambda f is slightly greater than lambda i which is also proved in this equation and this is the visualization of compton effect when a stone is dropped onto a spinner the stone gets thrown at one direction and the spinner recoils in the opposite direction when a stone is thrown onto a spinning ground chakkar also the same thing happens this is only for visualizing the compton effect we will also discuss about the applications of compton effect so one of the important applications of compton effect is that more than studying about the light as a particle in this compton effect also in the recent uh, research so the shows that the radiation therapy what they are using now is also based on the compton effect in the compton effect there is a interaction between the 
elect instant photon and the electron whereas here it is the in the radiation therapy there is the same interaction between the gamma ray or x ray with the atoms in the living beings obviously the atoms in the living beings are composed of electrons so what is the interaction of these gamma rays into the living beings atoms electrons that interaction only is like you know uh, being completely focused in the radiation therapy this radiation therapy is again based on the compton effect which one of the researchers have shown moreover compton effect is not only you no know, proves that it can be done in the radiation therapy there is an inverse compton effect which is also used in the astrophysics uh, this can be actually detailed in the next next videos and there is another effect called magneto compton effect where the uh, magnetization in the crystals are being studied and using the compton effect the scattered photons are being like more investigated inspected and we are able to completely separate the spin nature of the electron electron and the orbital motion of the electron when we are able to segregate into them the two different ideologies then we study and investigate more on that which will lead to more studies in the magneto gmr sensors and magneto resistance effects thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel